Hello, this is Eric at Prince George Ford, and we're taking a look at the newly redesigned 2021 Ford F-150 in a Lariat trim and powered by a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing, with some excellent fuel efficiency as well, and coming with running boards down below so you can have an easier time getting in, and with a new look inside and out, making it look very sleek, but let's take a look inside. And first looking at the back seat where you have seating for three spaciously that can be lifted up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo you might want to put back here. Assuming you have the seat belts undone. And then in the middle you have two fold out cup holders with armrests. And in the middle here you have fold out cup holders with a USB, USB-C and 12 volt power outlet. And this truck does also have a remote start so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your vehicle. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as power folding and telescoping towing mirrors, as well as having three memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, pedals, and your mirrors. And now sitting in the truck with it running, and looking at the steering wheel on the right-hand side, you have your controls for your center info screen here, fully digital cluster as well, so that's pretty nice. You can look at your trip one and two information, your eco behavior, your auto start stop status, driver assistance settings, and fuel economy. Then you can also exit out of that and go to your truck info where you have your tire pressures, off road status, power distribution, engine info, and driver assistance. You have your towing information, your navigation, phone, and audio controls, and settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. Do also have my view, which is a sort of favorite screen for any of those subcategories for ease of access. Then moving on to your the left side where you have your cruise controls with lane keeping system and your hands-free phone and radio controls along the bottom. Then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is radio serious and Bluetooth, so you have some options there for whatever you want to listen to. Then you have your Bluetooth phone controls, your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels, your favorite screen, which much like my view any of those subcategories for ease of access, uh, whatever apps you may have installed, settings for your screen, and some other features around your vehicle, and your general truck features such as driver assistance, zone lighting, towing, and owner's manual. But then shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera with a full 360 view, so you're going to be able to see all around your truck and hopefully avoid hitting anything with dynamic hitch view, so you can have an easier time hooking up a trailer or something of the sort. And above your screen, you have your auto start stop shut off, your remote camera view with the front and 360 uh, hazards and traction control shut off. And above that, you have your premium B&O audio system. So your music or whatever you're listening to is going to sound pretty decent. To the left of the screen, you have your pro trailer backup controller, trailer brake controller, 4x4 controls with 4 auto and a locking rear differential, and your drive mode selector here for uh, normal slippery deep snow sand, mud ruts, and then on the opposite end you have tow haul, eco, and sport mode, so you can customize your driving experience quite a bit there. Then on the right side uh, of your screen you have your 12 volt power outlet, 120 volt power outlet, and this button here to open the compartment above your glove box. And then moving on to the middle where you have your climate controls with dual zone front climate and heated and air conditioned front seats so you can stay comfortable no matter the weather or climate. Below that you have a 12 volt power outlet with a USB and USB-C with a shelf where you can put your device while it's charging or whatever else you want. And then moving on to your center console area where you have seating for, or sorry, cup holders, two, two cup holders and your center compartment slash armrest which is pretty spacious but then this does lift up and out of the way to become your fifth passenger seat and sixth seat overall so plenty of seating in this truck and you even have another lockable compartment under there for even more storage capacity. And then last but not least you have a power sliding rear window but that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.